Speaker Lisa Forbes has said her politics of hope beat the Brexit Party's politics of division. But let's just show um, you and our viewers this tweet from Labour MP Jess Phillips. Woke up to news of Peterborough win. Glad that Brexit Party didn't win and I'm in awe of my Labour colleagues who ran a tough campaign well. But the reality is I cannot be gleeful or proud as I'd want to be because of how it shows that anti-Semitism is becoming normal in the party. And she is referring to Lisa Forbes and her social media history. Look, all types of racism have to be fought really hard. And I've been someone that's spoken about um, how we should be doing more on anti-Semitism within the party, including kind of more grassroots education. When you look at what happened with Lisa, so she liked um, a Facebook post that was a video that wasn't an anti-Semitic video. And at the bottom of that post, there was like a line, to some conspiracy theory. And as you know, when you scroll through Facebook, you don't see the whole post. Now, she has said sorry, as she should. Didn't she and, say, and I've she's... enjoyed reading the whole thread? Mm. That, was, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was something different. That was something else. And, yes, and wasn't... also, should we just be clear, actually, a, f a phrase that she put a like to, referred to Theresa May being driven by a Zionist slave-driving slave agenda. Slave master's thing, agenda. Right? agenda so, right? think... so let's not just sort of no, dilute... No, no. So there was some slightly awkward language here or there. No, That's no, I'm saying there's conspiracy, conspiracy theory. theory. I'm saying, right? And she, she's saying that she didn't see that. One thing that I've noticed, because this has been really close to me in, in the last few weeks, where we've had um, a Tory councillor come out with incredibly Islamophobic comments, and um, saying that 11-year-old girls should be frightened of Muslims. There's a mosque in his ward. And the lack of support that I've got on that, um, the lack of headlines, the lack of media, uh, even support from some of the Labour right, um, has demonstrated to me how racism is really being used as a political tool. Now, when you create a hierarchy of racism, you undermine all of us, and we should be working together to make sure that all types of racism are fought across all parties. And it's been incredibly upsetting to see the hypocrisy and double standards of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. We should absolutely be heightening issues of anti-Semitism, and we should be doing the same for Islamophobia. Is Labour blind? or members of the Labour Party at a senior level blind to what actually constitutes anti-Semitism? I don't know that of the, of the leadership. What I would say is that, in general, we need a mass education programme about all of the different tropes. Um, I think, in general, in society, people don't know what those tropes look like. Um, so one thing, for instance, that we've done in RCLP is to have a training session looking at what anti-Semitism looks like. And I think that's exactly the sort of th thing that needs to happen everywhere. So just to be clear, though, there's a, the, the, the problem that the Labour Party has in this specific case is that the thing that their candidate did, which was to look at something that was it's pretty obviously anti-Semitic to someone who understands what anti-Semitism is, claims not to have seen it or not to have recognised Recognized it. Now, if the Labour Party is collectively to say, well, that's not good enough, you should have tried hard, you should recognise anti-Semitism, they also have to say that about their leader, because Jeremy Corbyn has done that time and again with a very obviously anti-Semitic mural, being in a Facebook group that was absolutely, it was a sewer of very obviously florid anti-Semitism. So it's very difficult to criticise this new candidate without, by implication, saying the offence is something that Jeremy Corbyn has committed. So necessarily every Labour candidate, including yourself and a lot of Labour MPs, have to say, well, there's nothing really to see here, because they're having to protect Jeremy no, I don't That's think the underlying struggle. I mean, she That's said that herself. Right. She That's said that herself, on. right? Um, I'm definitely not going to take lessons on these things from the Brexit party after what Anne Whitcomb said um, just a few days ago and wasn't suspended well, or Raphael's actually right about what he said. But, I mean, the <laughs> you said there shouldn't be a hierarchy, though. There shouldn't, there shouldn't be a, be a hierarchy. Competition. There shouldn't be a hierarchy, but at the same time... Um, and she didn't say that it was OK. She apologised. And, and this is my point, that we actually... I think you're... To some extent, I think you're right. I think sometimes people don't recognise anti-Semitism. Anti but should they then tropes. be and that Labour MPs? ignorance, right? And it's we have to ignorance. all educate it's ourselves. You can't say you don't recognise anti-Semitism and therefore you need an what education. What should happen about Anne Whittacombe? Uh, Anne Whittacombe is absolutely not a racist in any form, shape or whatever. Well, but, she's obviously uh, homophobic. But, but and she's not homophobic. Well, hang on. Let's be clear. So you are referring to comments <laughs> that she made about homosex but homosexuality. This is the point. Like, I'm happy to talk about anti-Semitism, and I've All said right. again and again, but let's not have double standards across different it's parties. Got, All right, will you resp it. well, respond to what Anne Whittacombe um, did say? It was in, a, in an interview referring to perhaps in the future the science might produce an answer. To Anne, Whittacombe, uh, Anne Whittacombe, as we know, is, you know, a deep Christian. And she's got whatever personal view she's got. And it was not are they? No, it was not a homophobic comment. <laughs> it was not anti-gay. We've what? got gays in our party. We've got black people in our party. We've got Jews. Uh. We've got... I'm half Pakistani, by the way. My dad's a Muslim. 
Um, does she, so need, to okay, does she need to be re-educated in the way she, that you it's think It's not a matter something... of education. If someone's a racist, let me tell you, if someone's a racist, you, don't you, can't, educate, you can't educate racism out of someone. You have to <laughs> eject them from the party, and the Labour Party hasn't got the courage to do it. Pfizer? I mean, to the extent that, on which you can make a mistake um, and you didn't see that last line, if, you, if people look at that post, they'll see. If you scroll down in a Facebook page, you can see the video, which is like kids praying, showing solidarity. But it's with not just about Christ this. Church. It has to but come in the context of a, a, you know, a long history of covering up <coughs> clearly anti-Semitic incidents, failing to take action on them. Right. It's not just about this That's video. That's what it is, absolutely. All right, we're going to leave it there because we're going to talk about the Conservatives. Um, as we said earlier, we're going to...